Welcome to a short lesson on the distance formula. We're going to go ahead and get started and I want to go ahead and review what you did in your eighth grade math class. They didn't probably even use the word distance formula, they just used the Pythagorean, a squared plus b squared equals c squared. And here we have our classic right triangle, we know this is the right angle right here. And opposite angle A is side A, opposite angle B is side B, and over here we have our hypotenuse C. And all we're going to do is just do a squared plus b squared is equal to c squared. Well, the distances on this triangle right here is just simply this is 3, this is 4, and this is unknown. That's actually a triple, but we'll talk about triples at a later date. So we got 4 squared plus 3 squared is equal to c squared. And I'm going to go ahead and do this by hand. Uh, that's 16 plus 9 is equal to c squared. And of course we got c squared is equal to 25. And we take the positive root of 25. We don't deal in negative distances, so c is going to equal to 5. That's what you did in Math 8. So let's go ahead and take a look at what you did in Algebra. They introduced the distance formula in Algebra. And it is just a form of a squared plus b squared equals c squared. They just took the square root of c squared before you got started. And a squared, if you noticed, was nothing, I mean a, with nothing more than the distance between these two points. So that's all we're doing is taking the difference between the two points. Difference between our x's, the difference between our I, y's, we square them. Now we have x1 and x2 because we've got to keep it straight. We don't want to confuse which one is x and which one is uh, x2. So I'm just going to call this x2, y2. And this could be x1, y1. It doesn't really matter which one is which. And we just plug it into the formula. I actually make a confession. I hate this distance formula. And I'm going to show you why in a second. All right. So this is 0, 0. So that makes it really easy whenever we have a point at the origin. So I'm just going to do, um, this is 3, 3 right here. 3, 3. Okay. So 3 minus 0. 3 minus 0. Oops, I didn't mean to put that thing there, but you get the idea. we got to square it. It's very important. We always will have a positive result in this here. And we have 3 minus 0. Okay? Squared. So I got 3 minus 0, which is 3 squared, which is going to be 9 plus 9, which is equal to radical 18, which when we break it down, if, they, if you remember your algebra, that's 9 times 2, so 3 radical 2. And if you ever have any doubts, just run over to your handy dandy Mark 1 Casio calculator here and just do square root of 18 and boop, it simplifies it for you. All right. This is a good mental exercise. If you're going to go to uh, any complex math in your future, whether it's uh, here in the high school or in college, you probably want to do this by hand and avoid the calculator. All right. Because you're about mental development. This is how I want you to do it in geometry. And this is the exact same formula as this one. This is the difference in my x's, this is the difference in my y's. And if you have already had physics, you can remember the delta part of the difference of something. They do it in chemistry as well. So the difference in my x's is simply how far apart are my x's? How far would you have to travel from x1 to x2? Well, I travel a distance of 2. So I just simply put 2 squared in here, plus, and how far did I travel between these guys? 4. I put 4 squared in here, okay? Well, 2 squared is 4, 4 squared is 16, so I got radical 20, okay? And we know that 4 times 5 is 20, so radical 4 is 2, so 2 radical 5. And again, you can come over here, especially if you're on a test or something, and just make sure that you're all good. And I stress it over and over, if you're going to go to any challenging math or you want to develop your abstract reasoning and mental math abilities, do this by hand. Avoid the calculator. All right. Here is our final example. Find the distance given the two points. Saying this is how fast you can really do the distance formula. Because remember, it's just delta x squared plus delta y squared. I can't draw. All under the square root symbol. Okay. That is a distance of 8. What's 8 squared? 64. Throw it in there. What's the difference between 2 and 6? That's a distance of 4. Square it, 16. So you got 64 plus 16, that's 76, 80. Radical 80. And then you can break it down, you know it's 16 times 5 or whatever, but you can still do this. And you can just do radical 80 on your calculator and knock it out. 
So 16 times 5, of course, is um, 4 radical 5. So where we go. Boom, 4 radical 5. All righty, that is it. Practice this. You need to do several of these. Go from straight from here to straight to here. Do not do any of the earlier plugins. One step, simplify your radical, knock it out. All right? Distance formula is incredibly easy using this uh, delta x, delta y uh, process. Alrighty, next time.